Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a tutorial on how to get the new iOS 11.1 emojis on your guys' iOS 10.2 or iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak. So with that being said, let's get straight into this tutorial. All right, guys, so first off, let's go ahead and smash up to 15 likes on this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Go ahead and comment something down below for a chance to get pinned. And if you guys like tutorials just like this, go ahead and leave a like as well. And leave a comment saying that you guys do like these videos. So let's go ahead and get back into this tutorial. All right, so first off, guys, this is untested for iOS 10.2.1. So if you guys are on a jailbreak for that, I'm not too sure if it's going to work. But for sure, this is working on iOS 10.2, which is what I am currently using on my iDevice. So during me making this tutorial, or at least prepping for it, I did end up messing up my iDevice with my emojis, but you guys are safe and I do actually know what to do now for you guys, so just follow along with this tutorial and you guys will not get the same results that I get. So let me just go ahead and show you guys how my iDevice looks. So as you guys can see, I do have some uh, blank spots right here, and these are basically just like blank uh, placeholders for the new emoji since I kind of messed up my emoji uh, keyboard layout. But you guys will not be able to see this once you guys revert and go back to your guys' as a default emojis. So let me go ahead and show you guys what to do. So first off, what you guys need to do is you guys need to download the first link that is inside of the description in order to get this file called Apple Color Emoji at 2x.ttc. This is all from the GitHub of Poomsmart, the developer, which is the developer that actually makes a lot of the emoji ports for higher iOS versions. So with that being said, the next thing you guys want to do is you guys need to grab an iFun box. The link will be inside of the description, but in this video, I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to set it up and go ahead and move files in and out of your guys' iDevice. But if you guys wanna see that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will probably make it for my next video if you guys do need that type of video. But assuming that you guys actually know how to go ahead and move files in and out and manage your iDevice from your computer, you guys can go ahead and follow along. Now this tutorial also does work for both Windows and Mac. It can be possible to do this on your iDevice, but it is pretty hectic to do it. So I do recommend you guys using a computer instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch up iFunBox since I'm using that. And you guys want to navigate your guys' iDevice to System, Library, and then go to Font, and then core. Now you guys will see that you guys have a TTC and a .ccf file. Now these two are the only ones that you guys are gonna need to worry about. Do not worry about these two guys. These are just my backups that I have made. But anyways, you guys will see a .ttc and a .ccf. What I want you guys to do right now is I want you to just right click on it and rename it and add the extension of back with a capital B so you guys can identify which is the original files that you guys are messing with inside of your iDevices system. So once you guys have that, you guys are good to go. So what I'm gonna do next is not do that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two that I already have that I made a backup of. What you guys wanna do is with that .ttc file that you guys downloaded, first you guys wanna just drag it inside of your guys' iDevice. It'll take a couple minutes or a couple seconds depending on your guys' computer. But as you guys can see, I do have the .ttc file just by itself and not the .ccf and the .ttc. So once you guys are there, you guys are pretty much done. And let me go ahead and just show you guys my iDevice. So from here, I went ahead and actually tried to use it with by default, but that ended up messing up my iDevice, so I'm just doing the manual method right now. But anyways, once you guys do that, let me just go show you guys one more time that I am running on the iOS 10.2 emojis, besides the fact that I do have those blank spots for iOS 11s. So from here, you guys wanna just go ahead and just respring your iDevice, and you guys should be good to go. So let me go ahead and wait for that, it's gonna respring. All right, so there we go, let me go and use my thumbprint, and then we are back on my iDevice. So let me go ahead and show you guys the emojis now. Let me go ahead and go there. And you guys can see there are the new emojis. So as you guys can see right here, there is the cursing one, the mind blown. And if we scroll over more, we have the puking emoji. Um, and there are pretty much every single emoji that was in fact on iOS 11.1 and it is now ported on your iDevice running on iOS 10.2 or whichever version you guys are using. So that's pretty much it guys, you guys can actually just use these, these will not show any type of errors, so as you guys can see, they have all the skin tones for any particular emoji that you want, 
they all work perfectly well and you guys are good to go with your guys' iDevice. Now, if you guys do want to revert back to iOS 10.2s, I have not tried this myself since I ended up messing up my iDevice with the original emojis. Just go ahead and delete the .ttc file from your guys' iDevice. So let me go ahead and bring it up again. Just go ahead and delete this .ttc file and then you guys will have the .back and the other .back and just delete the .back extension that you guys typed in the beginning. Then respring your guys' iDevice and you guys should be good to go with iOS 10.2's original emojis without having the iOS 11's. So with that being said guys, if you guys like this quick tutorial on how to get those new iOS 11 emojis since a lot of you guys pretty much want those since you guys do not want to update. If you guys are on a jailbroken iDevice, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future, as well as a lot more videos regarding and covering iOS 11's jailbreak that might potentially be released soon. Don't forget to also snapshot this outro or scan the snap code in order to add me on Snapchat. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.